43. The Lord Directeth April the 5th, 1955 Good morning, friends. Now and then, when we pause briefly to look back on our lives, we realize that our lives have been so very different from what we once expected. Perhaps in sorting through some old papers, we run across a long-forgotten picture of ourselves, and it brings back a sudden rush of memories. We realize how young we were then, and how little we knew, and yet how high our hopes and pride were as we looked to the future. Perhaps we wonder, will the future be as unexpected as the past has been? More than that, will it be as definitely beyond our shaping and control? Years ago, we had a hopeful picture of what our future would be. The present hour finds us very different from that picture. Will tomorrow be as impossible for us to design as today has been? Yet, in a very real sense, we are today what all our yesterdays have made us. We are responsible and cannot evade the responsibility for our present situation and our present state. And yet, when we press our accountability to the limit, something still escapes us. We are not omnipotent. We are not all-powerful and all our attempting to shape our lives leaves something lacking. A long time ago, a man faced this same mystery concerning his own life. He had begun with such rich promise, only to fall into abject foolishness and emerge at the end with a sad and humble wisdom. Looking back, Solomon remarked, as Proverbs 16.9 gives it, A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Moffat translates it thus, A man thinks out his plans, but the Eternal controls his course. Let's examine the meaning of that verse. A man thinks out his plans, but with what results? The most careful planner finds his life a frustrating thing to deal with. So much of it escapes his planning. And even when the little he can plan has so many loose ends, that planning is a sure guide to frustration if a man tries to be comprehensive about it. James, the brother of our Lord, had this to say about our planning, as Moffat translated it. Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we are going to such and such a city, we shall spend a year there trading and making money. You who know nothing about tomorrow, for what is your life? You are but a mist which appears for a little and then vanishes. You ought rather to say, If the Lord will, we shall live to do this or that. But here you are, boasting in your proud pretensions. All such boasting is wicked. James 4, 13-16 Yes, a man thinks out his plan, but because man is not omnipotent, nor can man control or shape all the factors in his life, he cannot control his course. Now this would leave man in a fearful predicament if there were no control whatsoever to rule and overrule in his life. But as Solomon pointed out, a man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. A man thinks out his plans, but the Eternal controls his course. Because our lives have failed to develop as we planned that they should does not mean that they are without direction or purpose. As long as we walk in faith as members of Jesus Christ, we are part of a total plan which makes all things work together for good. And if the Lord has brought defeat to your plans and mine, it is only because he has a better one which must and shall prevail. The Lord directs, and his leadings are sure and infallible. In the words of Samuel Rodegast's old hymn, Whate'er my God ordains is right, holy his will abideth. I will be still whate'er he doth, and follow where he guideth. He is my God, though dark my road, he holds me that I shall not fall, wherefore to him I leave it all. Whate'er my God ordains is right, he never will deceive me. He leads me by the proper path, I know he will not leave me. I take content what he hath sent, his hands can turn my griefs away, and patiently I wait his day. 
Whate'er my God ordains is right, though now this cup in drinking may bitter seem to my faint heart, I take it all unshrinking. Tears pass away with dawn of day, sweet comfort yet shall fill my heart, and pain and sorrow shall depart. Whate'er my God ordains is right, here shall my stand be taken. Though sorrow, need, or death be mine, yet I am not forsaken. My Father's care is round me there, he holds me that I shall not fall, and so to him I leave it all. Samuel Rodegast, Whate'er My God Ordains Is Right, 1675 A man's heart deviseth his way, but the Lord directeth his steps. Proverbs 16, 9